at Renaissance Farm, it's necessary to grow a lot of basil. So they are always trying new methods to improve planting and irrigation efficiency. Today, Mark tries out a modified Holland transplanter pulled behind a tractor. Mark brings the tractor around to start another row. A flat, flexible, perforated irrigation pipe called T-tape is laid six inches deep in the row right before Tanya and Nikki drop in the plugs. First, Mark anchors the tape at the row start with the screwdriver. Now that looks like a highly specialized tool and knot that you've had to learn. You should have seen what we had to do when we did the paper pots. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we take sticks. There aren't any dry sticks here, but we take sticks and stick them in to hold them. You know, because otherwise you'd run out of screwdrivers. We did 200. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we did 269 trays of flats. So, oh my. <laughs> yeah. You use sticks instead of screwdrivers. Oh, that's funny. So you start the trench out. Right, because you can see the, the, tape. the trench gets started here with this. The drip tape comes out here. So the, the, the tape is actually underneath the plants. Correct. And then we make the plants go get the water the once plants. we get them seeded. Oh, okay. Makes sense. And when we do that on this dry sand, even though this doesn't look like sand here, um, the weeds don't work. And that's a good thing. Because the uh, moisture is so localized? Right. And if there's no moisture on the top, then the, oh. in the sand, it's such a harsh environment, the weeds aren't going to grow. Oh, that's, a, that's fascinating. Okay. The goal always is to get out of here without banging your head. <laughs> Killing. Oh, that's fascinating. In terms of biomass, yeah. it's far more than you're growing. Really? At least in a row crop. Okay. Fascinating. I'd never heard that before. The newly planted basil receives a heavy application with a water gun. This helps settle them into the earth and gives the young plants a good drink. Going forward, they must work hard for their water by pushing their roots more deeply into the ground. So what kind of a water is this called? This is called the traveling gun. And it would be of the micro variety. A micro. So this is relatively small? Yeah. This will do... I think we're, we're not pushing very much through at 30 gallons a minute. Oh, okay. So I'm looking at this field out here, and then I'm thinking of those bottles of frozen pesto. Yeah. That I'm really actually a lot more familiar with. Yeah. Well, this is where it starts. It's pretty amazing. 
The other thing that comes out of here is we puree basil with olive oil and freeze that and make our pesto out of that. But we also sell that as an ingredient. Ah, okay. And Ian's Pizza and Roman Candle use that to make their pizza with. Okay. As well as Willie Street Co-op uses it in their deli. So it's kind of a base. It is a base. We call it a basil base. Basil base. Nice. A sand point well adjacent to the field supplies all the water for irrigation. It's a four foot stainless steel screen that filters the sand out and lets the water go through into it. So it's, it's basically a pointed pipe with holes in it. Right. Versus a, a hollow pipe where the pump would be sitting inside of it. Right, and then there would be a flow of water. We're actually filtering water out of the sand. Okay. So we run a... Uh, an electric motor with a generator, uh -huh. and we prime the pump with an uh, electric with a gas pump. The water reel pulls the gun towards it over the course of about six hours. Aren't you going to spin them around or anything? Isn't it like the like, like the tilt-a-whirl? That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> 